Epilepsy, a neurological disorder suffered by about 50 million people on Earth. In a football stadium with 60,000 visitors, about 500 of them will have epilepsy. Everyone is able to get the disorder. Even Julius Caesar is said to have had epilepsy. Especially babies in their first year will be likely to get epilepsy. Middle-aged people aren't as likely, but males and females who are over 60 years old will be even more likely to get the disease than babies. But how does epilepsy actually work? Well, imagine a four-way intersection of roads where all the cars would rapidly try to cross, ignoring their stop signs and traffic lights. Almost the same happens in the brain. Neurons who are passing on a message from the brain to the muscles and nerves have to go in a certain order. However, when all the neurons are delivering all these messages at once, it causes a car accident, or in this case a seizure. Patients try to decrease the chance of having seizures and use certain medicines which serve as new stop signs and traffic lights to ensure that the cars won't crash. However, if the cars actually do crash, it causes the muscles in the body to contract and move without the person having any influence on it. This seizure can happen at any time and can therefore be pretty dangerous. The question is, what will you do in this situation? The most important thing you have to do is stay calm and focused. On average, a seizure lasts between 60 to 90 seconds. If it lasts any longer than 5 minutes, dial an ambulance. When someone is having a seizure, try to prevent him from falling by helping him gently to the ground. Move away objects in reach of the person to prevent him from injuring himself. Try not to force the body to the ground and make sure that they won't suffocate by swallowing their own tongue or not getting any air. We hope we have taught you many things about epilepsy and you have enjoyed watching our video. For more information about epilepsy, check out our website.